What it do, my MCOC crew? This is Damn Epic, and today we are going to be opening up those Battlegrounds rewards. So, here we go. Guys, let's get into it. Um, and we're also later on going to be having the 100% uh, new Paragon, Gauntlet Paragon, or Gladiator Paragon, whatever it's called, uh, rewards opening with some spicy stuff. We open another 7-star, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of Battlegrounds this season. Um, the Crit Me With Your Best Shot meta was really fun, but, you know, like everything else that goes for two weeks, it kind of got a little bit stale at the end. So let's start off with Battlegrounds um, solo event. I ranked number 10 in the world, so that's pretty nice. Those shards are going to be greatly appreciated, those 7-star shards. Um, yeah, and I mean, listen, <laughs> Awakening Gems are pretty much irrelevant to me now. 6-star Signature Stones, I could always use that. I've just been topping up all of my 6-star champions that are as close to Mag Sig as possible, so that when I pull them, I maximize on the 7-star shards and uh, get more Mag Sig 7-star uh, crystals. So, let's go ahead and claim that. And then let's go ahead and go back here. So for the Alliance event, we ranked uh, seventh in the world. Last time we were number one. Um, I think this was attributed to a few different factors. Um, first of all, there was a lot of mind-numbing content, pretty much like the Brutal DLX challenge. So people are just sludging through that. Um, second of all, I think, you know, with war starting and kind of reacclimating to that, some of our focus shifted towards that. And then third of all, not making any excuses. There were a few people in the Alliance who, for personal reasons, weren't able to hit uh, the minimums. And uh, that should be rectified hopefully next season. But, you know, things always come up and it is what it is. So, here we go. Let's go ahead. Ooh, we got selectors. So, I have an idea of what I'm going to be choosing, but let's quickly look at my inventory to see what I'm working with here. Um, I just took Photon to rank two, so if you wanna see some rank two duped Photon gameplay, leave that in the comments right now. I do not think there are too many of those around right now in the contest, so it would definitely be a rare jewel to see, you know, of course, on the live server. Um, and yeah, so what I'm really going to be looking at and going for now uh, is going to be Mutant and Skill. But uh, you kind of got to go all in on one. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to just... We don't get enough Tier 6 CC to just have the luxury of, you know, spreading it evenly across all classes. So let's quickly look at my champions in the Mutant class, the 7 stars. And I recently duped this guy. Now, I am in a top... Uh, 10 AQ Alliance, so his prestige is very, very nutty at rank 2, just sig 20. So I would probably be taking Gambit to rank 2, and he can definitely do things. You know, he's a great core counter, um, he can take a Tuma. Sunspot, of course, if not for prestige, uh, would be my number one choice. Um, and then maybe Bishop, and then Gambit. But that being said, that's why we're going to be going all in on Mutant. Let me just show you my skill. Um, let's go ahead. So, Elsa is SIG 100, but I'm not a big fan. Um, I definitely have to work uh, learning her a bit more and seeing how she matches up. I know that um, Mantis is a bit of a nuke, so I would love to take her to R2 um, at some point. And Killmonger would be great for defense, but honestly, I want to get his signature level, you know, quite a few more dupes, maybe to Sig 60 or Sig 80 before I rank to him. So it would be between uh, Elsa, Falcon is also Sig 40, I believe. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm torn in the skill class. I think if I'm doing Gambit for Prestige, honestly, I might just go with Mantis after, the, uh, you know, uh, for my skill, just because, listen, yeah, I could get my Prestige sky high, but I'm already in the top two or three in the entire Alliance, Prestige-wise, and I gotta do some rank ups for myself. So, let's go ahead and claim the Alliance rewards. So, I wish you were able to kind of delay the selector, that you could kind of open it later, but... I guess they don't want people hoarding these, so let's go all in on Mutant, man. Here we go. Mutant. Mutant. And then we are going to... Huh. Let's load up on some skill here. Just so we prepare for the next R2, the next time deals come out, or content. So that is claimed. 
And then this last one, let's see, where did I finish? I was on the cutoff, uh, almost close to C5. I don't think that there were any ducks. Um, I finished top 100, uh, three, so pretty decent. I think that's C6, I would have to see the rewards, but I'm not gonna really check it now. I think that's Celestial 6, but anyway, these are going to be greatly useful in taking up my next relic to uh, rank 2 as a 6 star relic. So we're going to go over which ones I have there. These will put me really, really close um, to another 7 star, so that's always exciting. Uh, and yeah, this will also put me pretty, pretty close. So let's, let's claim all this stuff and let's do a little bit of shopping in the Battleground store. Um, let's see what we're working with so for me and my account uh, let's see how far away I am mm, but it just oh, I don't know it just feels so expensive spending on these um, six star relics honestly this I'm way too far away if I was at like 14,000 or 14,500 I would do this but just a bit too pricey for my taste right now so this is what I mainly go after I go after is all the tier 6 stuff so that's that's done and uh, cool that's resetting in a few days and then I go after all the selectors so remember we're gonna be stocking up on mutant Just going all in then I think we're gonna have some of the tier 6 class catalyst crystals to open up as well so let's just pop this while we're here all right let's see look at these awakening gems I don't even need to open them just because I have so many generics so um, I don't know I, I, again I really wish Kabam did something with the trade and stuff I mean it's not too many people who have 20 plus generic uh, six star awakening gems but um, I'm sure there's a handful of people that do so here we go Let's go ahead, quick pop, hope for lots of mutants and skill. And we got the least amount of what we wanted. <laughs> that's that's why you gotta do the, you know, you gotta choose and go all in, as I said, on what you want in the selectors. Because uh, if you don't, most likely you're not gonna get great RNG here. Um, I'm close to be able to arc to another uh, cosmic uh, seven star. But again, guys, I mean, with Gladiator, Oh man, I'm, I'm just uh, a little bit disappointed in him. He's a good champ, just not a great champ. I think he's missing. Um, I think it would be great if uh, Kabam uh, changed things, gave him a tune-up so that he has more immunities or resistances which build as his confidence builds. Uh, so he should be honestly immune or resistant at the very least to poison, immune or resistant to cold snap, incinerate. It would be really cool if Nova Flames. Um, Reverse controls, that might be asking too much, so I, I don't really need that, but at least Poison, Incinerate, Cold Snap. I really feel he needs that in his kit. If you want that to kind of immunity or resistance to grow as his confidence grows, that would make him a little bit more balanced, so he's not immune directly out of the gate. But the champion needs more, so I mean, I'm not gonna be going for him. As I said in my last video, his play style looks cool. He's just lacking some damage and immunities to really get him to that summoner choice status. Um, but yeah, so here are my... I just have Gamora at rank 2. I absolutely love her. Terax is a decent SIG. Um, not super high, so 660. Uh, that's a potential option, but I don't know. I just feel um, he's not the defender he used to be. Kitty, Kitty obliterates him. If someone has like an, a rank 5 CGR, that's going to be lights out in like 20, 30 seconds in Battlegrounds. A Gore could be a very, very good option. He's a good defender. Um, or Venom is actually very, very interesting. He is awakened. Um, so I don't know. I have a bit to think about. But again, guys, you know, I do have, um, gonna be going for the Titan Crystals in the next batch. So we have to see, uh, which Cosmic Champs are in there, if any. Uh, if you know which Cosmic Champs are gonna be in the seven star, um, Titan Crystal Pool coming out in, I believe it's October. Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious about that to see what you guys think. Uh, Crystal-wise, I think that's just about it. I think we're going to be able to open up another featured here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, number one want and only want is Mr. AW. Let's just say that. 
he's been eluding me this entire time. Um, the only reason why I'm still opening these. But we get a Sandman, and I think I recently just took him to SIG 200. Um, so I would be benefiting from the Max SIG in case we pulled him already. Let's see if that's a Max SIG. Yes, it is. So that gets us that much closer. So that is all good stuff right there. So, well, guys, that's going to be the video for today. I do not have much else to open, but stay tuned for the Paragon 100% rewards. Uh... It's going to be pretty pretty juicy. I think that that was really nice thing that Kabam is doing there. I think they should leave that 25% tier 6 uh, CC in there for completing Thronebreaker 100% uh, honestly. Because I just feel tier 6 CC is just such a limited resource and we don't get enough of it. I'm also going to be making a video on things that desperately need to be buffed or improved rewards wise in the game. And you know of course AQ rewards are just completely outdated. The sigil is completely outdated not really doesn't really have any value to it and many 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 more things so stay tuned for that video as well guys leave a thumbs up if you liked me kind of sharing all my thoughts usually i just edit all these things out and just get to the rewards but that's gonna be it for this one i'll catch you in the next one damn it out peace